Associated Press has released new audio recordings of a Trump campaign staffer back in November of 2020, two days after Election Day. Specifically, the audio is from the Trump campaign manager in Wisconsin, offering a behind-the-scenes look at how the campaign there knew they'd lost to Democrats in the state, but continued to promote allegations of voter fraud anyway. Here's the drill. Comms is going to continue to fan the flame and get the word out about Democrats trying to steal this election. We'll do whatever they need their help with. Okay, it's just be in standby in case there's any stunts we need to pull. The AP points out that the man you heard in that audio clip, Andrew Iverson, is now the Midwest Regional Director. For the Republican National Committee, he deferred all questions about the audio to the RNC, which declined to comment. So, Joe, uh, here we go again. I mean, up and down the line. Well, I mean, up and down the line, but it's coming from the very top with Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. And John Heilman, uh, if you listen to the entire clip, he begins by telling everybody that's assembled, hey, listen, tip of the hat to the Democrats. They out-organized us. They got people out to vote. They beat us fair and square. Now, uh, we're going to have to run around and screech about how Democrats stole this election. Stand by to pull, quote, stunts. That's just part of the story. I think, as Paul Harvey would say, uh, if you want to know the rest of the story, this guy got a promotion. He went uh, from running Wisconsin to running the entire Midwest <laughs> region because he knew they lost. He saluted the, the Democrats for out organizing them and then said, let's scream and yell and say we were we were robbed. It, this election was rigged and let's pull stunts. That's what you do in the Republican Party in 2020 and 2022 to get a promotion. I mean, look, you know, that's uh, it, it, it was it, it was certainly what you did in 20, 2020 and 2022. And I think, you know, we all agree. The big question is whether that continues to be the case uh, coming out of 2022 is as and whether the the sort of what seems to be the fading relevance of Donald Trump, whether that will also mean the fading relevance of, of Trumpism. And I think that's kind of the central question facing our, our politics and the Republican Party. But, man, you know, Joe, the, you know, you think about all the people up and down the line uh, who decided in that moment when that tape was made that there was no potential cost, uh, no potential real risk to kind of indulging uh, Donald Trump's dangerous rhetoric on this front. And we obviously learned uh, to the contrary. Uh, but, you know, I bet that there, if, you, if you went into an awful lot of, uh, of, of closed rooms in battleground states that Joe Biden won, that he wasn't supposed to win, supposed to win according to the Trump people, uh, you would find very similar tapes in a lot of places where people who had looked at a lot of this data, just as people did in, at, the, at the national level in the campaign, and looked and said, you know, we lost this election, uh, but there was no upside for them professionally uh, to, to, to speaking truth anywhere, let alone to power uh, within their party. They, they thought, you know, the thing to do here is to salute sharply uh, the lies. And that we get rewarded for that. And as this shows, they did.